Hey everyone, this is Julia, the Nomadic Crafter, and I'm here in the van with Bambi Dog, right at the beach, parked overnight, and um, it's just a great little street, a great little neighborhood, just half a block down to the beach. Bambi and I had a wonderful walk out on the sort of cliffs and found this little sandy beach. We could run around, and I, yesterday I went swimming and totally got all my dreads wet in the ocean, which is really great for it. Just had a wonderful day at the beach yesterday and today. So right now, I'm just in the van getting ready to go do my shipping before they close. And I thought I'd just show you a little bit of sort of how I do that in the van. And then I have a couple of more things that I made that I want to show you for, during this video. So um, I'm sitting here wrapping up uh, a dress that I sold, which is a, a recycled t-shirt dress. It's a Mortal Kombat dress. <laughs> so, and it's got this cool velvety green bottom. But anyway, a gal bought this and I am wrapping it up and sending it to her. And then the other thing I'm wrapping, which I put in this cute little bag, is a custom order hat that I made. And it looks like that. So like a Rasta Tam, you know, for dreadlocks. Like that. Then I have my packages. One of these going to Texas. One is going to Connecticut. And I've pretty much sold stuff all over the United States to every state, as far as I can recall. I always wanted to do a map and put like a little dot um, in each town that I sold something in. And then I'd be able to imagine, wow, my stuff's in like there, 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 over there. Someone's wearing my stuff in that town. That's so cool. So anyway, I just wrap up my packages, and one thing I like to do is um, just put a special note in there for my customers. So yeah, like I get like a National Geographic, and there's I like to just cut out like a little um, image, and there's so many great ones. Let's see, like in these magazines, see there's two right there that I could use, um, just really pretty pictures. And so what I like to do is write a nice little note with a marker here. So the dress is going to Stephanie. Stephanie, I hope you love the dress. It's just, this is fun crafting right here. Then I just put it in the bag and tape it up like that. And I got my little... Um, it's hard for me to do and talk. Anyway, I have my little packages here, and this is my shipping bag, and I just have everything I need in this bag. It just gets stashed in the corner over there. It's just sort of, sort of how I do my shipping in the van. It's kind of a pain in the butt because I have a furry dog. So again, each of those items was first shaken out and checked for furs, and then I try and have a clean surface before I start working here on the on my bed doing the shipping. But the next thing I want to show you real quick are two more pairs of bell bottoms that I made. I don't know if you can see them. Bell bottoms. And these ones have this beautiful African wax fabric here. Thank you, Judith. This was a subscriber sent me some beautiful fabric. And I decided to put, you can see all the way around there, uh, this on each side of these bells matching. And I like that effect with this. And I like the blue with the denim. But these are my bell bottoms where I just create the bell from sections of jeans, the bottom of other pairs of jeans, and just make this nice bell. So here's the other pair. I hope you can see them. <laughs> I had cut into this one, so I put a little patch on there. But yeah, and then I just added to it on the bottom and um, built the top of the strip there. And then we have these awesome big bells. The only thing is on these jeans, um, they were so straight-legged or small-legged to begin with that I had to do this massive bell just to get a bell-bottom effect at all. Usually I would use a pair of jeans that's a little bit wider at the bottom already. But these are some awesome ones here. Really stoked about these. <clears throat> And we'll have all of these clothes are in my store 
etsy.com slash store slash California Patchwork. Or you can just go to etsy.com. That's E-T-S-Y dot com. It's all handmade and vintage. That's all it is. No electronics unless they're vintage or handmade. And you just go to etsy.com and just type in the search bar, California Patchwork, all one word. And my store will come up with my hippie patchwork jeans. So, yeah. Um, it's been so fun making these. I tend to move from project to project. Sometimes it's t-shirt tams. Sometimes it's hippie patchwork bell bottoms. Sometimes it's t-shirt dresses. But whatever it is, I sort of stay in that. Sometimes it's face masks. Whatever it is, I sort of, sort of stay in that zone for a bit. And then I move on to the next type of thing. I don't like to list one or two pairs of jeans where it's not offering a variety of sizes and styles for people to choose from. And I really like to do a series of things. So I'm going to be getting to a giant pile of face masks. So for those of you that have been waiting for those, those will be coming up next. Thanks guys for watching my video real quick. This is just me doing my work in the van. Day starts out with Bambi and I running around, jumping in the ocean, and then I drop her off and I go empty the piddle pills and I take a shower in the bathing suit but getting all the sand off. And then I come back and I get all dried up and get dressed and I grab my skateboard and I run over to the taco place and get a taco and eat it on the, on the <clears throat> beach wall right there and meet a nice gal. And then I come back and I've got my shipping getting ready and Bambi and I are going to go shipping and then we're going to go back over and the drum circle is happening tonight um, and so I'm going to go and I will be wearing my mask so I'm both playing and working at the same time but I really do have to get to the post office before they close so if you have any questions about that that type of lifestyle where it's not like work and then play and in the same way it's not work and then retirement it's work play work play work play work play work play all the way through. If you have any questions about this weird lifestyle, hit me up in the comments below. And I really appreciate you watching. So this is Julia and Bambi in our van. And we hope you have as beautiful of a day as we're going to continue having today. All right. See you later.